I came to work one day and I found out that my salon, JCPenney Salon, was one of the closing stores. Big box stores are on the decline here at home and across the country. Those closures putting thousands of people out of work. Valley News Team's Molly Casey talked to a group of stylists who were facing unemployment because of a store closure, but they did something really, really innovative and now no one is out of work. So Molly, explain to us what happened. So the manager of the JCPenney salon, she really did not want any of her employees to be unemployed. So she decided to create her own salon and brought it to life. It, it was a shock. In March, Savannah Sprouse learned the salon she managed inside the Jamestown JCPenney was closing with the store. It was probably the hardest day of my life. I had to tell all of my employees that they were no longer going to have a job. Sprouse knew her employees wouldn't have many options to find work, so she found a storefront to create her own salon. Everybody was on board and very supportive. After the space was heavily renovated, she and the stylists opened the doors of Vivacious Salon door opens. Wow. AJ Clark had been a JC Penny salon stylist for years and was grateful for Sprouse's idea to open Vivacious. Just so we'd have a job basically and be able to feed our kids and keep a roof over our heads. But the new salon was not an easy project. The JC Penny salon was supposed to close June 18th, but Sprouse's timeline was cut in half. Then they came back and told us, well, May 20th, we're going to close the salon early. Sprouse and her fiance spent many late nights finishing the remodel, but her stylists say they and the community appreciate their work. Your clients see that, everyone sees that, so it's a really welcoming environment. And the name Vivacious fits the new salon because Sprouse says they'll be around for a while. It's a great feeling. And Vivacious Salon had their grand opening this past week, and they're very excited to have their existing clients and new ones experience the new space. And you know, things like this are happening all the time. The big box stores are closing, and you just have to be innovative like these ladies, and they're pretty lucky. They really are. The, the store itself is gorgeous, and it's truly going to be around for a while. I can tell that it has a lot of good energy in it. Thanks so much, Molly.